What's up guys and welcome back to a brand new YouTube video and today in this video we are reviewing chapter 52 of Boruto Naruto Next Generation's manga. Oh my blimmin god this chapter was a blimmin amazing. I loved the fights of Naruto versus Ishiki round 3 because he got kicked and slapped in round 2 when he was destroying the village a bit. But this chapter is fire and I can't wait for chapter 53 because of that cliff hanger of Boruto. But before this video starts, so make sure you subscribe, turn the bell notification on, you never miss a video. Also, follow my social media platforms like my Twitter and my Instagram, link in the description down below. Void and me underscore YT. Both of my Instagrams and Twitters are the same username. And also join my Discord, you can chat other content creators and other people who enjoy my content and my other YouTube friends are on there. Let's get straight on to the review. The chapter starts with Naruto and Krama talking about the new mode. Krama describes the new mode as a nuclear fusion like the sun releasing its energy. It's about using my chakra and your chakra to create a new fusion energy. So it's like fusion technique in Dragon Ball Z when you connect two energies to make one. That's basically what Naruto and Chroma is doing. That is pretty interesting for the new mode and the new chakra. Basically, they have their own new chakra that no one can do at the moment, only them two. Naruto says, it does sound like a simple, but how is it different from the Nine Tails mode and the Six Paths mode? Chroma said, it's fundamentally different to simplifying its previous made use chakra from the other places but this time it's something else entirely simple but the power is to use your chakra and my chakra as a new material that's what like i said before it's like the dragon ball technique the dragon ball c technique of the fusion technique when two key combined together to create a new key that is what naruto and and krama doing in boruto naruto next generation manga so that is pretty interesting i love i love like that way then krama said listen up don't make any unnecessary movement it's all about plugging this new mode and using its fullest potential that you can do naruto uzumaki naruto starts beginning to overwhelm ishiki and also manages to dodge a few of his attacks a few panels later ishiki manages to assist his dominance over naruto by using his cube ability and su successes fully to bury naruto under the block naruto easily manages to lift the blocks and meanwhile sasuke tried to take boruto away i don't know why like, we all know that this chapter is definitely being pre-writing pre-written i mean like because kishimoto will never will never let sasuke like oh I'm gonna try to take Boruto away and get him from the battlefield. Sasuke is not like Sasuke brought Boruto for a reason because he had a plan. Plan, but that, that doesn't make sense. If he's like, oh, I'm gonna take Boruto away because it's too dangerous right here. But mate, you don't know. He has the Krama mark and he has the Jogon that might get. I think it is got the Jogon got activated at the last panel. People are discussing that, and I hope it is the Jogon. But I don't don't want to be Momoshiki taking over just yet i i would like to have momoshiki take over and speak to ishiki but i don't want momoshiki to have his baku gone out i want his joe gone out and this is why kishimoto didn't risk in this chapter because it's definitely pre written because kishimoto would do a lot with sasuke during this chapter and the future chapters i hope we can get more sasuke in this fight in chapter 53 and chapter 54 so Yes, that is it. Is it. Then Naruto then proceeds to throw the block back at Ichiki. Then he shrinks and attacks by throwing the block at Chakra Rods at Naruto. But he manages to grab the Chakra Rods and throw it back in. Ichiki, impossible. How did he manage to suddenly have a siege of power? Then it switches back to a Kwaki and then a Mato. Thank God we actually get mixed chapter though because I thought we would get like a full-fledged chapter of fighting Ishiki but thank god we get a full like a hat mixed chapter and then everyone 
was discussing Kawaki's arm, which was originally made for Naruto and only Naruto's stronger can be used to power it. Suddenly, the arm began to feel more strange and everyone was shocked. And I can't believe Amando was shocked because if he knew it was um, made by Naruto, why would he be shocked? But um, saying that, that can, like you'd be shocked, I'd be shocked if like an, randomly a robot arm just randomly moved itself. It could just like that type of context. To be honest, then Quacky, what the chakra of the arm is getting weaker and weaker. Basically, his arm because of um, Naruto's chakra is keeping decreasing after decreasing because of his new mode. That I will explain later on in the video, so stay tuned for that. And it keeps getting weaker and weaker. It's like, what the fuck is going on with my arm? What is happening? What is going on? Then it switches back to Ishiki slash Naruto's fight. Naruto is to see be physically exhausted down to be one knee, and the pattern on his new mood seems to be disappearing. Sasuke, Sasuke says. What's going on? Is Naruto chakra suddenly getting worse and worse? It's getting weaker and weaker. But Boruto got so worried about his dad and tries to get back up and faints. Basically, the whole chapter you won't see Boruto out. There's so maybe like we only need to focus on Naruto's new mood and Ishiki. You don't see Sasuke much. You don't see Boruto much. So, like that's like the worst thing about this chapter. And. Naruto says that he does not have any time until this mode disappears. Ishiki notices that Naruto exhausted and he says, I see that sudden enchantment of a power of yours is a great killing ability, but you will only will be sacrificing your life. Ah, he knows he's getting on because he's Naruto's exhausted and all that. He's a good, good eye. Oh, he has a good eye right there. Ichiki laughs at Naruto for losing, but then Ichiki vomits blood and he looks shaken. Oh my blimming god. And you be shocked after what I say in the end of the video. And you'd be shocked right there. Naruto, hey, who's is going to be die first? But the real fight begins here, right here, right now. Karama said, first of all, this pirate is very strong. It is definitely above him. However, we still can't beat him because the side effects are still happening and using this power are too great and I think we will be the first to die compared to him. Naruto was shocked hearing that after Kram said that. You know when Kwaki said oh, I send the seventh to where wherever he did. I think Ishiki probably Ishiki probably thought he killed Naruto but Naruto and Kram knows they killed himself, that's what I'm getting at. I think Ishiki like, oh, I killed Naruto and I sent him somewhere else, but r r really, Naruto and Krama sacrificed their life, used his new power, and then they died. So that's what I think about that little statement right there. Then Ishiki says, what is this? There is no mistake, my life man is decreasing rapidly, even as I underestimated. I predicted this at least my 20 hours left but i knew it i only have 30 minutes left in this body like i said before that naruto's new form and his new ability that is every time he punches someone their lifespan decreases that's why he was keeping punching and punching Ishiki without any new ninjutsu, anything like that, to in decrease his life span. Krama, listen carefully. I don't think about hitting him. Just think of hitting him every single blow. He's like saying, don't think to hit him. Just fucking hit him. That's all you need to do. Then Sasuke said, Naruto's chakras decreasing. How how could that he be, mate? I don't know what he's doing. He's, he's, like, he's like confused about it. I know everyone was confused at the moment. Then Ichiki manages to attack Naruto on his neck, grabs him, pins him down, and he felt Kawaki's chakra around Naruto's body. And that is something.
something new. Ichiki in the winner. I was really, was really me. I, Ishiki, Isuski, you lowly inferior creatures could never defeat me. Then it switches back to Kwaki and Amatu. Everyone was still shocked and confused to this sudden change in the arm. And then all of a sudden, a patrol portal opens and Kwaki is sucked straight through the portal. Then Naruto and Sasuke were shocked that Ishiki just teleported Kawaki in the battlefield and Kawaki was shocked as well like this. Why am I in the battlefield? I was with Amado and everyone else. Now I'm teleported randomly by Ishiki Asuski. I don't know what is going on. Ishiki, I see that a slightly right arm is worked from your arm, Naruto Uzumaki, because of your chakra. I am um, thank you that your chakra was linked to this arm. I was able to pull Kawaki here. Then Sasuke is like this. What the hell just happened? What is he just talking about? Then the best panel that we ever got from the chapter. The Jogun has awakened from Boruto Uzumaki. This is where Boruto chapter 52 ends. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give a big fat thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new, turn the bell notification. Remember, we are right to 600 subscribers by the end of this year. I know we can make it, and I know we can hit that subscribe button right now. Also, join my follow, my Instagram, my Twitter, and my Discord link in the description down below. My name is Zoids, and see you in the next video. Peace out, guys. When it's on all the time, ooh. yeah. Look at the way that I move, swag. Disrespectful and I'm rude.